we are in vlog mode right now and the reason for that is because today I'm taking you to the hairdresser with me because it is time for a freaking trim. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Thomas if you're brand new here and I make style and hair related videos every single week here on YouTube. So if that's your kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button and come back every single week. Now, speaking of trims, I do get this question quite a lot. I get a lot of people asking me, how often should I go and get a trim while I'm growing my hair out? Or just in general, how often should I go and get a trim? And it's actually dependent on the situation that you've got with your hair right now. So if you're looking to maintain your hair length, so if you've got like whatever hair length, it could be short, it could be long, if you're looking to maintain that length, getting a cut uh, or a trim every four to six weeks uh, is great for that. However, if you're growing your hair out, they do recommend that you can wait like four to six months before you get your first trim whilst you're growing your hair out and then getting it every six to 12 weeks after that because obviously you're growing the hair out. You don't wanna be trimming it too often because you're not gonna get any more length on it, right? However, I like to break the rules all the time. <laughs> Ever since I've been growing my hair out, I've had like, I've just been getting the top part, like, because I used to have a disconnected undercut, right? So I've been getting the top trimmed the whole time and I've just completely left the sides. And it's been about, what, a year and two months now since I've had a trim on the sides. And I don't think I will be getting a trim on the sides until all of my hair length matches. So again today, when I go to the hairdresser, we're going down to Phoenix and Fire, which is uh, Josh's salon. And I'm just gonna, I'm literally, I'm gonna show you guys what I ask for when I go to the hairdressers and you can just kind of see that because I think you guys would find it really cool. But I hope that answers your question about getting a trim. So you just have to depict where you are in your growth cycle. Are you happy with your hair length right now? Uh, or are you still continuing to grow it? Because that'll give you an indication of when you should be going and getting your trims. But you should not avoid going and getting a trim because it is very important to contributing to your hair's health. When you leave the ends for too long, they do start to split. And the longer you leave a split end, the more it just travels up the hair and fucks it up. So <laughs> trimming is very important. And yeah, I can't wait to take you down to the hairdressers. So let's go. All right, so we are just over at the basin. Josh is giving me a hair wash before we do my trim, and I just want to take a minute to say hello to Josh. Josh, how are you doing there? I'm well, Tom. How are you? Good. So you've been cutting my hair for nearly three years now, I think. I've been coming down to Phoenix and Fire. This is the gorgeous salon right here. And how long have you been open for? Well, the salon's been open, it will be four years in August. So, wow. yeah, just over, well, three and a bit years. And how long have you been an expert hairdresser for? Well, I started my apprenticeship in about 1997. Uh -huh. Were you even born then, Tom? <laughs> I was. I was 93. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, I started my apprenticeship there um, in 97. And, yeah, I've been working in the industry ever since. Nice. And if someone wants to come and get a sick haircut and they live on the Gold Coast, what number do they need to call? They can call 07 55 004. And you won't regret it because Josh is a great hairdresser. <laughs> Thanks. So what are we doing with you today, Tom? <laughs> All right, so I'm in here just to get a trim up. Um, yeah. Because of the colder weather, it's been getting a lot more dry and I've noticed the ends have been getting really ratty. I still want to keep, like where my undercut was, you know how it was like high up here? I still want to keep all of this hair fresh. I don't want to touch that. It's more so just where the undercut, like the long hair used to be. I need to take about an inch off it, I think, um, to get the ends feeling a lot nicer and just clean me up, essentially. But yeah, no length off like the bottom bit where my undercut used to be. Because this is all like grown to about 10 and a half inches now. And yeah, I just kind of want to make it, make it all even. I don't want to touch that bottom half until it yeah. all kind of reaches the same length. And that's as simple as it needs to be, guys. Okay, easy. Because at the back, Tom, through under here, yeah, that is actually very similar length to the top layer. It's oh, really cool. just through here. These bits are the shorter bits? Yeah, that's, like that's shorter through here. But you've got to remember, because that's grown from here, and your nape is here. Yeah. So it's had a head start. Okay. So, like, because through under here... So does that mean it might be a good idea to chop a little bit off the bottom? Uh, the thing is, like, cutting off here, I like to wear the bun high as well. And, like, the higher I wear the bun, like, the more hair I need underneath here. And some of it doesn't reach. 
It doesn't reach already. Yeah, no. And okay. I like to like really wear it nice and high, so maybe we can leave that bottom bit alone, like completely. Okay. So you, realistically, the length of the bottom here, yeah, like from the underneath section, if we do that, will be longer than what's on here. Yeah. So, but does that can that be laid in to make it look like normal? Okay, yeah. cool. So it'll be kind of just like as if you had a lay like a couple of layers cut into that. Yeah. Because your length will be slightly shorter here than under here. It won't match up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's which cool. would be fine. Like if you straighten that out, it'll like still we'll look cut good. Cut it so that it marries together. Beautiful. Thanks, Josh. No worries. I always notice this as well, but when you cut my hair, when you cut down like that, what are you actually doing? So what I'm doing is I'm just actually, whereas I've cut your length quite solid, yeah, um, to get a good foundation of in your haircut. But now I need to break that line up. So by drying it, and it's what we call personalizing. Okay. So you just go through, and I'm actually just breaking up the solid line off the top, and so. When the hair falls, it gently blends together. Cool. Method to the madness. I don't know much about hair cutting at all, but thanks for that, Josh. Alrighty, guys, there we go. We are done. My ends are looking a lot fresher. And uh, yeah, I'm. I don't really know what else to say, but we're done. I'm just gonna tie it up now and get moving. I've got a lot of work to do today. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you back home. I'll get the camera out again and I'll do a little segment to finish up. But essentially that's what we've gotten done for today. So see ya. Okay, so now I am back from the hairdressers and that is literally as simple as it needs to be, guys. You just get into the chair, you tell them exactly what you're after, and then go on from there. And if a hairdresser ever does like not do what you asked for, make sure you tell them that as well. Like, Don't be afraid to say, hey, this isn't what I asked for, can we fix it up, or da 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 da. I'm pretty fortunate, Josh always nails my hair, so I'm happy with that. Uh, again, if any of you are uh, on the Gold Coast and you want a good haircut, go to Phoenix and Fire Hair because it's awesome. <laughs> I just have pinned my hair up into a uh, messy man bum, particularly because I did only go in for a trim today and a tidy up. I didn't want anything extravagant, I just kind of got him to straighten it out and I think it looks very beautiful. I did ask Josh to leave these sideburn bits and my uh, baby hairs at the back because a lot of you guys have been asking me about that as well So I wanted to document how I tidy those up from home and I did ask him to just leave them behind So yeah, there will be a video coming on that soon and I hope you enjoyed I hope I covered some really good tips in this video for you guys I hope you got something from it and let me know what you think of this vlog style thing It is a little bit different It was so weird going to the hairdressers without my big lights and my camera But it was a little bit easier and I'm trying this thing where I make things in my life a bit more simple and that was just one way of doing it. So let me know how you found this video and I'll see you next week for another one. Hit the like button if you love this video and subscribe for more videos every single Monday and I'll see you then. Goodbye!